Uh, hello, so today we are doing this problem called find k-length substrings with no repeated characters. And the problem says that we get a string s and the number k. And we want to return the number of substrings that exist in this string that have length k and have no repeated characters in them. Um, so, for example, here I have file lead code and k equal to 5. We have five substrings, like this one have F, and then A, B, until U, um, that ha doesn't have any repeated substrings. And um, and here, this one also, um, V, E, F, U, uh, N, doesn't have repeated substrings. You get the idea. We have six of these. Uh, for home, home itself has length 4 and so for k equal to 5 there is no substring with that length so that's 0 and one thing in the constraint here is that um, they are all they are all lowercase English letters and so this is the problem we have here um, so let's think about this um, so our goal is uh, to get number of substrings with uh, no repeated characters um, and uh, of length k, right? That's the that's what this is saying. So whenever we have length, so here two things we can um, two da da data points we have here. One is length k. The other thing we have is that um, it's substring, which means it's contiguous, right? Um, it's substring, so it's contiguous part of the string. So if we if we think of the of the string as an array, what we are looking for is a contiguous um, subarray that has length k and doesn't have any repeated elements, right? And so that whenever we have a question that has a contiguous part with some fixed length, we need to immediately think about um, the sliding window technique and uh, the variant of it that is called uh, the fixed size window right and so how can we how can we think about this how can we solve this problem here with this so we have this string right and so sliding window means we need to have a start index and we need to have um, an end index right and so that means that we have Let's say our start index is i, and then our end index is g, j, right? And uh, so our length is k, right? The, the the thing we are looking for is length k. So here, in this case, um, our k value is 5, right? So we need to advance at least by... We need a window that is at least size 5, so we need to have 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And we need to keep a set. Right, let's call it S. Um, so set S that contains the characters in a window. So why do we need this? Because we, we, we sh the window should not have repeated characters. So what we are going to do is whenever we encounter a character that we already had before, we are going to contract um, our window until there is no duplicate characters anymore. So we need to always keep, um, there is a condition here always no repeated characters in the window that we need to uh, we need to keep this condition valid all the time in a window so no repeated characters in a window and so what we are going to do is we are going to have that set and at each point so for example at this point here that set contains h um, a v uh, e f right and so now we are good, so we advance our pointer, um, j. So we advance our pointer j here. Now we have u. Um, so the length, the length now is more than k, more than 5. So if the length is more than 5, then we need to advance our a, i value. So let's note this down. So if uh, length of window bigger than k, advance i, and then else if, else, which means that if length is less, of window is less than k, um, advance j, 
as long as condition let's call this condition a as long as um, condition a is valid right and so let's do this then so when we get here we need to remove a h from the set and we need to add the new value to the set right so let's write this down so at each step um, remove the um, the character that the window um, moved away from from the the set right from the set of the window or let's call this window this set um, and add the new car that the window moved to to the set. So essentially, this is what's uh, these are the parameters that we need to change with the sliding window technique. Is um, the initialization step may be different depending on the problem. So for example, here our initialization we needed to put i at the start and uh, we needed to have k characters. Um, and the other thing is uh, the operation that we do when we move the window. So for example, in our case here, we do this operation, which is adding to the set and removing from the set. And then there is the condition that we need to keep valid for each window. In our case, it's this having no repeated characters. And uh, there is the, when do we add, like the calculating the, the, um, the goal that we are looking for. So the goal is the number of substrings. So we need to add one to the number of, to the result when a window with no repeated with size um, k and no repeated characters are, is, uh, in, is in the window. Right? How can we know the repeated characters using this set? Right? And so let's try this then. Um, so let's try to code this. Uh, this uh, this um, this thought here, and so what do we need? We need the set, of course, right? So we need our set. Let's call it here current set, and then we need i and j. Um, so let's have let's define i as zero, and then let's keep j going, right? So let's keep j in the range of length of s, right? And then, what do we need to do? So while the condition is not valid, we want to we want to keep the condition valid all the time. So we want to make uh, um, our code here um, remove whatever it needs to be removed to keep the condition valid. So we are going to check if the new value that we are encountering is in the current set, which means uh, condition not valid, right? then we need to remove it to make the condition valid, right? So that means we need to take the current set and remove sj to keep the condition valid, right? Sorry, uh, remove like, um, we can't remove sjg, we have to advance the window, so we need to, to uh, advance i so that we can try to find a better, a better window that can include the new value j. And so we remove SI, and when we remove it, that means that we, it's this here. So we remove the character from the window. It's the character the window is moving away from. And so our start needs to change. So our start needs to add one, right? And once we do this, um, and we exit, now the condition, now A is valid. So what are we going to do? We are going to, um, we are going to check if the length of, um, our current set is bigger than k so this is our other condition so if the length is bigger than k we need to advance i to keep the the constraint of the length being k valid right so at this point we need to advance i and advancing i means also removing from the set the value at si right and once we get here, now both conditions, let's call this condition B. Let's call this condition B. 
So here, B not valid. Now here, A and B are valid. So we need to just check if we have this. So we need to add one to the result if the window size is K. Since, um, since we have no repeated characters and, uh, and, uh, and we remove the size. So here we just need to check in case the size of the window is less than K. So we need to check if the length of the current set is equal to K. We need to add to our result. So let's initialize our result here. Which is the number of substrings. So we need to add one, which is what, I, what we said here. And at the end, we need to return our um, solution. And uh, this pretty much should do it. So let's try and see if this works. Okay, so this is lowercase. Let's just make it lowercase. Okay, so we have a problem here. Um. Okay, so this is S, first of all. Okay, so I don't make this mistake again. So this is an S, big S, and then we have the current set that we are moving from. Okay, and we return the result. So it's still not working, let's see. So what's happening is we are we have the result, the value i starts at 0, and while we have the new value sj, which is here, while we have it already in the current set, we remove the start so that basically we shrink the, we shrink the window. So here we shrink the window. By increasing the start value, uh, so here we remove the duplicate. So remove the duplicate of of SG in case it was there. Um, so we don't want any duplicates. Um, and uh, and after that, we check if the length is bigger than k. Then we remove the value at i. And we increase i uh, to plus one. That's correct. And then, otherwise, we we check if the length is equal to k. We return the result. So this technically should work, unless we are doing something really wrong somewhere. Uh, yeah, actually, I don't need to do this, though. And here, I can just, instead of checking the length of the set, I can just check, since I removed any duplicates, I can just uh, check i uh, plus 1, make sure that this is uh, bigger or equal to k. And at that point, there is. Because if it's bigger than k, then still I can make, take a shorter window um, and uh, that gives us uh, something bigger than what we want.
Uh, okay, let's see why is this not working here. So if j minus i plus 1, the length of the window is bigger or equal to k, then we add 1 to rest, which is So this should be the same as doing this, right? Oh yeah, we are missing something here. So what I'm, what I would let me just go back to the previous code and show you what I was missing. So I never add to the set, and that's why I was getting zero. Um, I should when I at some point I should add the value to the set, right? Before checking anything, I should add the value of SG to the set, right? So here. I should add current set add sj right okay so now it works so basically what we are doing is we check if the condition that we have is valid so we keep, we traverse with i and j um, the the string and Every time, when adding a value with by advancing j, we check if that value already exists. That means we are violating the condition that we a that we shouldn't have any repeated characters, and so we remove the the first value and basically advance i to shrink the size of the window. And once we do that, we add the new value that j moved to, and we uh, we check if the window size became bigger than k, which is not something that we want. We want something with the length k. So we again, we shrink the window again to make that valid by removing the value at position i and advancing i. And then at the end, we just check if we have, um, since here we should have, um, when both are valid, we potentially have this, this condition, where we, which is that a window with no repeated characters and of length k. And so if that's the case, we add one to, the, to our result and return it. So essentially what we are doing is, we get a window of size um, k and that has no repeated characters and if we do get that we add one if we have a duplicate character then we shrink the window by moving i and if also the windows of containing no repeated character is more than k we, we shrink the window also to get a window of length k um, and shrinking the window is always removing from the set and advancing the index at i. And uh, that's basically it. So let's submit. And the solution passes. Um, yeah, so that's essentially how we solve this problem using um, a sliding window um, technique or two pointers. Um, it's also called um, sometimes uh, uh, two pointers technique. Um, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.